the word singular. So that is the name of our sis. When the subject, subject of a sentence, when the subject of a sentence, Separated from the end, I get it. And it's any of this along with or as where as the verb. together. So that is what rule number six say. So when the subject of a particular statement or the subject of a particular sentence or utterance is uh, treated, remember that we say the subject of a sentence could be a noun or pronoun, that is the speaker is separated from the verb. Then, particularly, this phrase or clause is used to separate them from one another. Are you getting it? Your verb, what you should use or you consider with is what? Singular verb. For example, one can say the president along with the news name is expected shortly. So not ah. Do you understand? Not ah. But you ought to understand the condition of the subject. Please, are you getting it now? You have to understand the condition of the subject of say. If a subject is in plural form, I get it. Your verb will be in plural form. For instance, let's say the president is in a plural. I get it. So if there's a separation between the subject with maybe with the president as where as his cabinet, cabinet are expected shortly. Do you understand that? So you have to understand the subject. So the subject here is singular. The subject here is what? Plural. You get it now. That's what we are saying. That if the subject of a sentence is separated by this, I get it. But if the subject is singular, your verb must be a singular. If the subject is a plural form, your verb must be a plural form. I get it. So that's what we are saying. Then, now, in this under singular form, we can. Now, closeness, I get it as where as excitement is the cause of a shaking. Is the cause of a shaking. Not a. I get it. Not a is the cause. So, why? Because the subject. This is a subject. 
this is also a subject. Do you understand? But they are separated by this clause. So because there's a separation, are you getting it now? Then the verb must be a singular form. That is what we say. Is that okay? Any question? So if there's no question, then we also talk about rule number seven. So what do we say about rule number seven? Rule number seven says what? Errors. Yes, errors. Related with the use of pronouns. Uh, of now, sorry. Of now. As of now, yes. Error. Let's continue. So, there are certain errors that are associated with the use or construction of what? Of Okay, rule number seven. So I start with the use of what? Now. So now if for examples. Examples. Are we there? Yes. Let's say the ray. Costs much damage. Are you getting it now? So it is wrong to say it is wrong to say the rain cost many damages. Are you getting it? Because there is nothing called many damage in English. Are you getting it? Now? So in English expression, are you getting it? Now? And it is also wrong to use the adjective, the adjective many to qualify uncountable now or to qualify. Uh, you understand? So there's nothing for many damages. So also in English, damages is not an English expression. Do you understand? There's nothing like damages in English expression. Damages is a legal language. It's a legal it's a legal language that is it's a language or term used by lawyers. I get it. Used by lawyers. Used by lawyers. I get it. So in English expression, in English expression, I get it. They are showing my damage. You understand that? So that is what we are saying. So that is why this one is not correct. This one is correct. Is that okay? So that is an example of errors associated with use of pronoun. Is that okay? With the use of noun. Then we also have. Now, the police dash sees a dash A as slash baggages B F luggage C F 
baggages C, D, S, and luggages. Which one is correct? So, B is correct, right? Yes, B is correct. Why? Because the word police is plural. Is that okay? It's plural. Then, the word luggage in English, there's not like luggages. Is that okay in English? Then, there's nothing like baggages in English as well. You get it now. But the difference between luggage luggage and baggage is that luggage is used by british are you getting it now why baggage is used by america so why we prefer luggage in nigeria are you getting it is because we are colonized by british so we follow the british standard not american standard so then we also want to test you if we are fully aware about this course. If you are fully aware about it. So you see baggage, but don't go for baggage. Also in American English, there is nothing like baggages. You see baggage. So even though you are talking of object, if you are talking of one hour, you see baggage. You get it. So that is error related to the use of now. Is that okay? So let's quickly move to rule number eight. Rule number eight. Add this, then we have this. So as I said earlier, I won't bother you with definition of what Puna is. Because we all know that pronoun is a word replacement to noun word or a word, class word that is used instead of a noun. Are we together now? So, on this note, let us look at examples. We say dash travel to Lagos. Next week end. Are you getting it now? We now F A we say I and U. Then we cannot say C so so can also say dash So, Dash shall travel to Lagos next weekend. I and you, you and I, I and us. So the correct use of pronoun here is what? You and I shall travel to Lagos next weekend. Why? Because you is second person pronoun. Why I is first person Pronoun. Then by this implication, we now have this. That shall travel to London next year. Musa, I and you. Musa, you and I. I, Musa and you. White love.
dash the man and his wife love each other. Is that a good? Yes. Because this is is used in form of possessive pronoun. Are you getting it? And when you are using pronoun in, in its possessive form, do you understand that? Then it reflects the subject of the sentence. So the subject of the sentence is the man, which is what? Main gender. Do you understand? That's why we cannot use a. Do you understand it? Because when we are referring to this man, so the possessive of the man of is. Is that taken? All right. Let us also look at that example. So, he receives action. 
But you cannot use this E in objective form because you can use to start to say it's just like a proper noun. Do you understand? Any questions? 